Good morning, folks. This is Name Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Average Trade, and welcome to our daily update on our YouTube channel. And in today's topic, we'll be discussing about the massive plunge that we have experienced in crypto markets. And I'm really referring to as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and of course, XRP. Before we continue, as always, it is important for me to go through this disclaimer. And now let me pull out the MT4 platform, which can be downloaded from our website. Now, as always, we'll begin the analysis by looking at the daily time frame. Now, if you have seen our previous video, we talked about number one is about this bullish sort of ascending triangle pattern. Now, clearly, the path, the breakout of the pattern was a, was a fake one, and the price didn't respect the upward trend line. And from there onwards, it was a very much of a clear indication when the price crossed below this particular trend line that look this is a fake breakout and we need to be cautious so what we really need, now need to do is to delete that uh, trend line and focus on this lower part of the trend line and by looking at the lower part of the trend line what we really see also is that the price has violated two important price levels what are those number one is your 50 day simple moving average on your daily time frame it was violated but then the price clearly moved back above that and but it is still trading above the 100 and 200 day simple moving average now the question really is where do we go from here what is more important two things are important number one is that we need to move back above this upward trend line because this upward trend line is likely to act as a resistance and number two and the most important thing is that the price current battle with the 50 day simple moving average on the daily time frame so we need the price to stay above the 50 day simple moving average on the daily time frame and we also want the price to respect the low of this particular candle now what is the low of this particular candle the low of this particular candle is 52,240 so that is the price that we don't want bitcoin price to move to the downside now of course in order for these to happen the signals for these ones really going to come from a smaller term time frame and that means the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame what we really need is a price to break above the 200 day simple moving average because there is a lot of weakness on the four hour time frame which is telling us that the prices are really still vulnerable now further indication of that the further strength the indication of the strength is going to come from the 30 minute time frame and that is where the price has already started to show us that look things have started to move things have started to change and that is the price has moved above the 50 day simple moving average so what we really now need to focus on is the 30 minute the time frame and the daily time frame on the 30 minute time frame what we really need is a price to stay above the 50 day simple moving average and that will confirm that the price is going to move above the 200 day simple moving average and a break of that is really going to give us a clear signal that look you know things are going back on are back on track and now we are likely to move to the upside the good chances are that this particular upward trend line is completely violated now and we will be deleting this one in our next videos so then let's why don't we just actually delete that now so then the question really is where is that important support zone in case now of course there are two opportunities uh, one of the opportunity is coming from the other 30 minute time frame as we mentioned earlier so you could just place your stop loss below that 50 day simple moving average on the 30 minute time frame so just over here you can put your stop loss between 55,706 and then let this price to continue to move to the upside or otherwise or the other uh, immediate support zone is just 
over here, 51,792 to 50,158. Now, of course, if the price violates that particular price level, then the next sort of a price level is really going to be in between 47, nearly 46,000 to 48,000. And that is where you're 100 day simple moving average is trading in now of course we don't want to see this but we need to be prepared for this particular price level as well and that is that if price violates both of those ones then really we are talking about 29,500 to 33,000 sort of a next support level let's just hope that the price continues to respect the 50 day simple moving average on the 30 minute time frame and this so that we can see further upward moves but if it doesn't then we have our first support zone let me just zoom in into that right over here and then if we have our second support zone right over here then we have our third support zone which is right over here as well right okay now moving uh, uh, to the next one ethereum of course in terms of ethereum our immediate support level is going to be where the 50 decibel moving average is trading and of course that re that support of the previous resistance right over here so these are the sort of a price levels that we're really looking at now again very quickly on the 30 minute time frame we see the price has not only moved above the 50 day simple moving average but it is challenging the 100 day simple moving average so you may want it to wait for the price to break above the 100 day simple moving average place your stop loss below the 50 day and then maybe let this move to continue to move to the upside now very quickly have a look at the xrp xrp has certainly picked up a lot more strength than any of the other two coins because we have seen the price now moving above the 100 day simple moving average on the 30 minute time frame so one would put a stop loss below 1.42 and then let this momentum to continue towards that 1.96 particular price level because that is the at least minimum target that we are really looking at so again i can mark those targets on here for us so uh, our, our 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 target would be the minimum minimum target would be just the top of this particular one and our support zone under the current circumstances is just going to be where our 50 day simple moving average is trading in and that is right over here but having said that you know we could potentially take the trade as of now and put our stop losses below the 50 day simple move 100 day simple moving average so again this is our resistance zone this is our support zone all right that's all for now see you guys next time